The second half of the 20th century was a golden era for the development of medicines. New medicines, like antibiotics and treatments for cancer and heart disease, revolutionized healthcare. Now though, we have entered an era in which we have realized how complex many diseases are, and it is getting more challenging and costly to generate new medicines to target the mechanisms of diseases more effectively. When discussing cost and affordability, it's important to first understand how a new medicine is developed. It begins with understanding of how diseases behave and identifying key targets in the body. Scientists, including pharmacologists, then create a selection of compounds that could work as a new medicine. Any potential medicine must go through preclinical testing to see how a compound works and whether it is safe in cells, tissues and, as required by law, in two species of animal. If the trialed compounds prove effective, the best performing compound starts the four phases of clinical trials in humans. The first phase usually involves healthy volunteers who are monitored to see how well they tolerate the compound and whether there are any adverse side effects. Next, the potential medicine is tested in a small number of actual patients to see if the compound is effective in treating the disease. The third phase is about proving that the potential medicine works in a large number of patients and whether it is better than any existing drugs for treating that particular disease. After the first three stages are complete, and if the results are promising, a company will seek a license for the medicine to be used by patients. Once it is licensed, another process called pharmacovigilance identifies rarer adverse side effects. Initial discovery work can generate around 10,000 compounds, but only around 250 are successfully taken into preclinical testing. If just five of those reach the first phase of clinical development, on average, only one new medicine will emerge successfully by the end of the third phase. The pharmaceutical industry has always worked hard to make sure new medicines are safe, efficient and of good quality. But now it also has to consider cost-effectiveness or value for money. It is only once this has been assessed by the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence in England and Wales and the Scottish Medicines Consortium in Scotland that a pharmaceutical company is likely to begin to recoup its investment. An American university recently estimated the cost of developing a successful medicine at more than 2.5 billion US dollars, or just under 2 billion pounds. The British Pharmacological Society works with its members across the world to improve the development of new medicines, so patients can benefit from quicker and affordable access to treatments. Today's science, tomorrow's medicines.